Hey, my name is Tobin Porter-Brown. I've been the greenhouse manager at Pete's Greens for the last year. It's 2000, spring of 2018. And I wanted to do an instructional video on how to operate and run the fertigation and irrigation systems for our greenhouses. So you, here you have the fertigator set up and I'm just gonna go over each of the components briefly. Uh, this is your line in um, that comes up to this intersection here where if you turn these off as they are right now you can just run water straight through the top without actually suctioning any of the fertilizer. Um, if you run your water through here it goes through this little injector which comes into your uh, fertilizer and it pulls up through suction a little bit of fertilizer at a time. Now we used to have one of these um, which is a flow rate, which is handy just to know how much fertilizer you are putting into the system, um, that's broken. Um, and you don't actually really need it. So um, just as long as you know how much um, volume you are starting with and how much you're ending up with, that does the trick. So right now we are off. Um, we can see that we go over to a uh, filter right here and then this is going to all your houses. So I'm going to start the fertigation system um, starting by opening this and you can hear the water coming through. That's a good sign. By the way, this doesn't work. Um, so now our water is coming through our line. It's not going through the uh, injector yet. Um, so then I'm going to open up the injectors and you can start hearing it. So um, for this to work, there has to be enough sort of movement through this line um, to actually create suction. So I'm actually closing this valve just enough where we can hear that fertilizer just motion is actually coming through this uh, setup. And I do it by, by sound, which is why I'm creating a video for this. Um, you don't hear anything, you're not suctioning. So, something like that. Some, I am, I've turned this all the way right now. And over here, we're, we're suctioning a lot. What I like to do is find that sort of nice balance of suctioning but not cutting off all of your PSI. What also happens if you are pulling too much of your fish fertilizer, you clog your filter. Um, so that's sort of just about right. Now, how I check this is by going over to my uh, suction, my inlet here, and I pull this out of the um, fish emulsion and you can hear that it's now pulling air. Put it back into the fish motion, and you can see how quickly you're suctioning your fish motion. Pull it out, and now you're suctioning air. Uh, sometimes what happens is I pull this out and I realize it's not suctioning in the air, which means that there's no flow through the system. Or if you're not hearing that sound, of um, this injector sort of pulling your fertilizer, then it's not working. You got troubleshoot. Um, when you are in that scenario of needing, of like not having any suction here, you turn this all the way down and it's still not working. I think your best bet is to turn off this one and flush out your line. You're basically pushing water back into your tank. That helps sort of, maybe there's a clog at the end of this. Um, if that doesn't work, turn that back on. Oh yeah, now it sounds great. Um, the other thing I do is turn both of these off and just run the main line without pulling any fertilizer. Now that's gonna actually go through and um, clean out your filter maybe, maybe your, your drip tape is clogged somewhere. Um, 
as a general practice, I like to flush the line first and, you know, for a, a couple minutes before starting the fertilizer and at the very end um, just to help make sure your um, drip emitters are staying clean. So right now we're going to turn back the fertilizer on. Um, you can hear that we're not actually suctioning any. We're actually pushing water back into our tank. That's not a good thing. So I'm going to close our main valve right here and voila, we are fertigating. So right now this setup, I just have a tank of fish emulsion um, and just eyeballing how much is actually going into the greenhouses. A much more accurate way of doing this would be to uh, pull out of this tank into uh, a five gallon or a, a, you know, a measured quantity and just utilize the amount that you want to put into the house. I'm eyeballing it, so um, I'm getting a rough estimate right now. But the thing to do would be to have a, a little pump that goes into a five gallon bucket or into there. Um, and if I just want to put 10 gallons of fertilizer into the house, then I can do that. Now we have our um, line in from the fertigator setup, and that's right here. If I want to just irrigate with water, um, I can do that by turning this off and turning this one on. But I'm going to be fertigating right now, so we're going to turn that on. Now, um, all uh, fertigation systems need to have a filter, and then it needs to go through a pressure regulator because the pressure fluctuates wildly. Um, and then we need a PSI monitor. Um, you can see that we are currently running at like 7 PSI. That's not enough um, for this is the GC. Um, and I'm actually only fertigating half of the GC right now. Um, to really be able to get uh, enough water to fill out the drip tapes to the ends of the bed, we need a little bit more PSI. So what I'm doing right here is actually giving a little supplemental water feeding into this line because you really want to be able to operate around 15 to 20 psi to fully reach the end of the beds. Um, it also dilutes the fer uh, fertilizer a little bit and I think that works well. Um, so now that we can see that we are steady around 15, 20 psi, I want to go back Actually gonna, last thing to do is just to come back to your um, fertigation setup and to confirm that you are still indeed pulling your uh, fertilizer through the system. Um, and it's probably good, a good thing to check this uh, periodically. Uh, some things that can go wrong is that if um, you know, 20 minutes down the um, process, uh, the filter clogs or something clogs on this line, um, you will start pushing water back into the tank, uh, which is another re good reason to just pull out of a five gallon bucket um, if you're going to be walking away from it. If you're going to be around and can check on it uh, frequently, then that's less of an issue. But right, uh, this is um, basically it. It's a very uh, straightforward, simple system. Um, the things that can go wrong are primarily just around clogging the filters or clogging the injector um, or not having the right uh, water pressure going through the system.